Welcome back to Infigyan my dear friends. Today in this video we are going to take up another interesting radical equation problem and I will demonstrate three conventional methods to solve it. Let me begin with method number one. Consider cubing both sides. So I will use a plus b whole cube formula. So let me write here directly a cube. So I will write 2x minus 3 plus b cube cube root and cube will be over 3x plus 2 a cube plus b cube is done plus 3ab so 3 cube root of the product of a and b radicand term only 2x minus 3 and 3x plus 2 now i will write in bracket a plus b so a is cube root of 2x minus 3 plus b is cube root of 3x plus 2 which is 3 and right hand side is 3 cube 27. So once I will simplify it will become 5x minus 1 plus 9 times cube root of 2x minus 3 times 3x plus 2 and right hand side is 27. I will take 5x minus 1 to the right so it will become 9 times cube root of let's take the product so i will be writing 6x square then minus 5x minus 6 equal to 27 plus 1 28 minus 5x now i will take cubing once again so let's consider cube both sides once again so 9 cube is 729, cube root and cube, so it will be over cube and cube root, 6x square minus 5x minus 6 equal to a minus b whole cube, I will write a cube minus b cube minus 3a square b. plus 3ab square. Now I will simplify and take all the term to one side. So this equation will come out. One cubic equation 125 x cube plus 2274 x square plus 8115 x minus 26,326 equal to 0. So this is one cubic equation and using synthetic division and rational root theorem I will solve this. So let me write here once again 125 x cube plus 2274 x square plus 8115x minus 26326 equal to 0. Now I can write eligible factors of constant and leading coefficient. So I can write plus minus 1, plus minus 2 and so on. And leading coefficient plus minus 1, plus minus 5, plus minus 25, plus minus 125. We can write now I have to consider the ratio of constant and leading coefficients to find out root. If I will literally put x is equal to 1, is there any solution? Means it will satisfy the equation. Let's check 125 plus 2274 plus 8115 minus 26326. Is it true? No. It is not making our equation 0. Similarly with minus 1 also. So let me put x is equal to 2 now. So I will be writing 125. 2 cube is 8. 2274. 2 is square is 4. 8115 times 2. Minus 26326. So if you will check this value. First value is 1000. This value is 9096. 8115 times 2. This value is 16230. 
and if you will add 3 it will come out 26,326 so yes it is making 0 so x is equal to 2 is our base solution now using synthetic division method I have to write the coefficients for this cubic equation so I will write here coefficient of x cube that is 125 coefficient of x square 2274 coefficient of x 8115 and constant coefficient minus 26326 now base solution is 2 so I will retain the leading coefficient as it is 125 125 times 2 250 so this addition is 2524 double of that so 5048 if I will add both 13163 again double of that 26326 0 so here we are having coefficients for quadratic equation so equation will become 125x square plus 2524x plus 13163 equal to 0. So base solution is real valued solution x equal to 2. Now we have to only check whether we are getting real solution from this quadratic equation or not. So let me check only delta value. So I will write b square minus 4ac. So b square is 2524 whole square and minus 4 times a is 125 and c is 13163. Only if you will take this square and check this is 63. 70576 and this is bigger number 65808150 so this value is coming out negative complex solutions will generate so only x is equal to 2 is only real solution only real solutions so let me consider here now method number 2 here i will consider this identity a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3abc equal to a plus b plus c in second bracket a square plus b square plus c square minus ab minus bc minus ca so let's frame our equation in this manner first so i will write our equation as i will write cube root of 2x minus 3 then I will consider cube root of 3x plus 2 then I will take this minus 3 to the left and let me write minus 3 as cube root of minus 27 and right hand side is 0 this is our 3 we will take this 3 to the left so it will become minus 3 and minus if we will put in the cube root then we need to write minus 27. Now consider this is our A, this is our B, this is our C. Now A plus B plus C equal to 0. So right hand side is 0. So what we will be having A cube plus B cube plus C cube equal to 3ABC. So now I can write A cube plus b cube plus c cube equal to thrice a b c let us put the values so let me write here equation cube root of 2x minus 3 plus cube root of 3x plus 2 plus cube root of minus 27 equal to 0 so this is our A, this is our B and this is our C. Let's put over there A cube plus B cube plus C cube equal to 3ABC. So first term A cube 
I will write here 2x minus 3. B cube 3x plus 2. C cube minus 27 equal to 3 times A B C. So I will write cube root of 2x minus 3, 3x plus 2 and C is so I will write minus 3 directly. Cube root of minus 27 it is cube root of minus 3 whole cube. Now cube and cube root will be over so minus 3. That's why I have written here minus 3. So let me frame it. It will give the same equation 5x minus 1 minus 27 equal to minus 9 times cube root of the radicand 2x minus 3 3x plus 2. After rearranging terms, I will be having identical equation cube root 6x square minus 5x minus 6 and right hand side I will be writing 28 minus 5x. You can check from method 1. It is identical equation. Same equation we will be having. Let me write that equation. Cubic equation 125 x cube plus 2274 x square plus 8115 x minus 26326 equal to 0. Now rest of the steps are identical. In this manner we will be having x equal to 2 only real solution. Now method number 3. This is also another substitution method. Let me call this is A only and this is B. So equation number 1 A plus B equal to 3. Now let me write our A cube because cube root 2x minus 3 is A. A cube will be 2x minus 3. B cube will be 3x plus 2. Okay. Let me add. So I can write a cube plus b cube equal to 5x minus 1. Now I will use the same identity a plus b whole cube it is equal to a cube plus b cube plus 3ab in bracket a plus b. Let us put the value. We will get the same equation. A plus B whole cube. Let me write here 3 cube. This is A plus B. And here we have A cube plus B cube. So let me write here 5x minus 1. 3AB. So if I will multiply. So I will write 3 times cube root of AB. This is our AB. So I will write 2x minus 3. Similar method as method number 1. 3x plus 2 but here we have substitution. Now, now after rearranging the terms I can write it is 27 5x minus 1 and plus cube root of 6x square minus 5x minus 6. Now rearrange the terms. So I will write 5x minus 1 to the left. So it will become 28 minus 5x equal to 9 times identical equations we are having. You can see as per term. Now I will take cube both sides we will be having same cubic equation. Let me write 125x cube plus 2274x square 8115 x minus 26,326 equal to 0. Similar way as method number 1, you will get real solution x is equal to 2. Only real solution. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck and take care of yourself.